गाइस दिस इज़ अभिषेक वेलकम टू सिविल इंजीनियर अड्डा सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू डू द डिटेलिंग ऑफ द ड्राइंग दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड इन अ एंसर स्पेस क्लेम सो द डिटेलिंग इन्वॉल्व द प्रोसीजर ऑफ डायमेंशनिंग ओके यू कैन यूज द ऑटो कैट सॉफ्टवेयर वेर यू विल फाइंड द डायमेंशनिंग हियर इन दिस what you call this um, as answers here we here also you can can do the detailing so for that you need to go to detail just go to detail here after going to detail so you can see a lot of uh, options are there here which include orient font annotation views symbols and all other things okay so what we will do here is initially this is a t beam so i have selected the top face here just at selected the top face and plan view and now you can go to the dimension just click when you just uh, click on the dimension it will open up as a dimension and ordinates ordinates which include the ordinates from this axis from the x y uh, origin so we are not concerned about that much now so let's select the dimension so after selecting dimension it was asking click to create a datum plane to place your annotate annotation on so which is your plane that you want to create the dimension i am getting the top view so this is my plane this is my top view now so let's uh, do, take the dimensions let's see so guys observe very carefully now i am just taking the dimension okay well, what i do initially from end to end so let me take the end to end dimensioning so since this i this is 3000 mm okay uh, so this is the 3000 mm so if you want the everything should be in meters if you want it to be in meters then you need to go to file and uh, you have a space claim options here okay so once you click through space claim options you need to scroll down to units here so in this units just click on units and here you can change the units from uh, whatever is necessary according to your drawing or your requirement you can go for centimeters you can go for millimeters that's left to your uh, uh, scope so now let me continue with this millimeter itself so you can see the width is 3000 mm so now i want the longitudinal length so just click on the line or just click on the uh structure structural part where you require the dimensioning or detailing so i just want the longitudinal part so i'm just clicking on this line here so it will immediately give you 7000 mm okay so one more thing so if Uh, already uh, you know how the dimension is already yeah uh, how you get suppose if you want to change the width of the arrow height of the arrow width of the arrow and uh, you want to say the you want to change the font the size then you have to go here you can see the properties here on the left side here properties arrow okay so all of them are in the default length width arrow style 1 arrow style 2 all of them are in the default uh, values so if you are uh, uh, expecting your own uh, way of representing the things or if the draw drawing is too much complex then you can go for some smaller scale as well okay so so fine so the scale here is 1 is to 50 and you can go for uh, any other scale that is necessary so next again what you need to do suppose if i want the spacing between the uh, stirrups here so just click once there and where you want it is your origin and where is your destination here yeah so when you come to the destination here it will give that in between dimension so 275 mm so now you require the distance between the main reinforcement just click on this yes now you can see now you can adjust your uh, dimensioning where you require actually suppose if you were uh, have to mention a dimension here you can go here so this also you can do in same thing so just take this here so you can go like this you can do it in this way which means uh, on the uh, uh, instrument you are not going to mention anything just uh, you can uh, say it as a delete okay so automatically it gets deleted 
so now uh, this this is the thing how you can represent the dimensioning so in this way you can uh, create a lot of dimensions uh, like see let's select the dimension here and uh, what you can do here is little bit you can zoom in here from the reinforcement to the end shape so you can see this is the dimension here so this this is the dimension that you can represent so also you can create a note here you can write a note that is uh, this uh, let me paste so when you create a note here just place it on any other place here uh, on the plan view just uh, drag it if you want so you can write this i'll just write this as a t beam t beam detailing so just hit enter detailing okay so this is a t beam detailing so the size has to be varied because uh, it's it varies according to your uh, method so here if you select here then you can select the center part here yeah after selecting the box you can select the center part here you can even change the size of the text inside here okay so you can just uh, change the text size i'm just changing it to 2.5 so in this way you can uh, change the uh, planning so this is the way you have to carry out the detailing now what i am doing going to do i am just going to come through the uh, isometric view okay so in isometric view now i showed you in the plan now what i am going to do i'll just show it in, um, show in the in the front face so plan view for the front face how we will create the detailing so again same thing just go for detailing and now you select the dimension now you have to select the which plane you are ready to make the dimension okay so after selecting that so you have to see here so this is the plane where you have to select now select the dimension and now you will be able to see that the dimension is ready okay now you can select the dimension yes so now see the dimension see already there is an horizontal plane here you can uh, turn it off if you are not required now just just turn it off so now you have uh, created a vertical plane here now you can select the dimension and get all the dimensions as necessary so this is 3000 mm and uh, now you can uh, select the overall depth of the beam that is 800 is the overall depth and the breadth thickness of the web web thickness so just scroll in bit make sure you are selecting correctly everything so you need to zoom in a little bit so this is the 400 mm now what you can do is you can just select this and make this uh, drag this outside so that your uh, dimension will be mentioned outside the uh, boundaries okay and now uh, you can see uh, you can create a lot of uh, things here again so i can just uh, select the dimension okay let me select even the dimension of a beam so just see that automatically it will select get the get you the dimensions of the bar that is 32 mm dia so if you want this again uh, here and this is the 750 mm it's the effective if you want the effective depth so this is your effective depth and this is the overall depth and now you can get the distances between the reinforcement here uh, so what you can do is uh, just you can uh, select this and uh, select one more part here so you can just see you can do it a lot of things so just uh, create here sorry i have missed it okay so just come back okay so i need to rotate it rotate it fine yeah so in this way you can detail any part in ANSYS so the detailing is very beautiful here as well so a lot of people some uh, people were uh, not aware of this so i thought to make video on this so this is front view or uh, cross sectional view cross section cross sorry cross section of t-beam 
so uh, so we can uh, make it bold as well and select the center part okay so in this way you can create a lot of uh, things here so it will be a good thing if you have uh, to make the uh, detailing in answers and you're still worried about this so this video will be very helpful for you please do share this video to your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel that will motivate me to make a lot of videos if you have any doubts or if you require anything in specific of answers or anything related to civil engineering please drop your comments and i will answer them thank you have a good day